Hello guys, welcome to Hot Ninja Entertainment. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Anytime when they come across this video. And guys, if this is your first time passing through this YouTube channel, don't forget to support this channel by hitting the subscribe button and on the bell icon and share this video. God bless you as you do so and God bless my subscribers and my followers on facebook i know the way we analyze and here now you have to see the matter and so the table run hello guys hello people welcome back to another segment yeah with hot ninja entertainment greetings viewers all over the world my correct people I don't do thing I like that I see the way we taste the matter. Now so we did a table run as a report they reached my heart. Now so I did bring they come here. So I don't bring the latest update again from Manzi Nan the Kanu, the leader of iPop. So guys, I will just leave the video to play. Just watch the video and drop your comments at the comment section. What you think about this video but guys before we jump into this video if this is your first time passing through this youtube channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and on the bell icon so whenever i drop any video you will be the first person to see it and feel free to share this video as well so guys without wasting much time guys let's drive if Nelson Mandela can be called a terrorist, who am I? Oliver Cromwell was a terrorist. George Washington was a terrorist. Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe was a terrorist. Even let me shock you, all of you now. Some of you may have heard about a man called Dr. Ziki when Dr. Namda Ziki was his name. I had to add a Namda to his name because he doesn't behave like one. Do you know that Dr. Ziki was called a terrorist and exiled to Ghana? Are you aware of that? Do you know who called him a terrorist? The same Britain, United Kingdom. Are we aware of that? Dr. Ziki, when that fought and set Nigeria free, do you know he was sent to jail by the British? Do you know that Ahmad Bale never went to jail? Do you know that Abu Bakr Bale never went to jail? The only people that went to jail are those from the south. Agolo and Aziki were are the only people that went to jail in order to set Nigeria free. Are you aware of that? No, you don't know. And they were called terrorists. Yes, Nam Ezekiel was called a terrorist by the British. You must listen to me attentively. I said this program cannot be like any other. You must listen attentively this evening. Please. And invite people to come and listen as well. Nam Ezekiel was called a terrorist by the British. Chief Obafemi Awolowo was not spared. Chief Obafemi Awolowo was called a terrorist as well for trying to set his people free. I want IPOB to know tonight that being called a terrorist because you're fighting for your land and your nation is a badge of honor. It means you've arrived. It means the enemy is scared of what you're doing. And it means that you're succeeding at whatever thing that you're doing. Are you following me? If you are in freedom fighting anywhere in the world and the people you're fighting have not come to refer to you as a terrorist, then that means you're not doing anything. That means you're not threatening the status quo. Do you understand me very well? That is why in our case, we are there is no democracy because in Africa there is no democracy. People are very primitive. People are basically like wild animals in the forest. They have no brain. That is the reason why we need to agitate the way we are agitating or else we can never be free. Understand this very, very clearly, please. Uh, Willow was also a terrorist. Um, uh, for the sake of Yoruba journalists in uh, working for channels television, all those Yoruba people writing for the Punch newspaper, I also want to let you know tonight that Awolowo was once a terrorist because he was fighting for you. I hope you understand what I'm saying this evening. The world knows we are not terrorists. 
We have not gone to markets to bomb people. We have not gone to mosques to bomb people. We have not been to churches to kill people. We have not killed anybody, as a matter of fact. What ESL is doing is driving away full and terrorists in our forests. How can that make us a terrorist by pursuing terrorists? How is that possible? How is that possible? Now pay attention to what I have to say. Do you remember those police they sent to Somalia? And I want people in Lagos to confirm this. I want my Yoruba brothers and sisters to confirm this please tonight and tomorrow morning. Do you know those police people they sent to Somalia? Ask yourself, why would any sensible country in the world send their police to Somalia? Is that possible? Do you know what they want Somalia to do? I think that the Nigerian government will be shocked tonight that we have this intel. And I want to let them understand that the M branch of this very movement of IPOB to restore the effort, our M branch is far more resourceful than any other of this show in hope that is no move they make we don't know. We know how many tanks they are bringing. We know how many soldiers they are bringing. We know the type of armaments they are bringing. Everything we know. Ask the National Security Advisor of Nigeria. Ask the head of National Military Intelligence in Nigeria. Ask all the so-called big wings of intelligence in Nigeria. And also ask the British. Why did Nigeria send a so-called policeman to Somalia to go and train people? Do you know what they went to Somalia to do? They went to go and recruit Al-Shabaab terrorist operatives to come to Nigeria to help them fight this war. That was why they went to Somalia. I'm sure this night will be shot. How we knew this information? They went to Somalia. There is no country in the world after the debacle of U.S. rescue mission. Operation Hope. Oh, that's your good senior. No country in the world has ever dared to send their people into Mogadishu. Only Nigeria. Why? To go and recruit the very deadly Al-Shabaab terror group. To come fight for them. Remember the intel all over the place. America gave you intel a few weeks ago. I also have the latest one they gave today. When America said that terrorists are now moving south, I want to let the whole world understand. I want still people to understand that even you, you, if you are from Jack, you're not safe. These are the people who are surrounding Lagos today. They are the ones in the forests of Yoruba land. Their leaders have come. The Nigerian government, the Fulani Caliphate government, sent their hardened men to Somalia to go and recruit Al-Shabaab terror group because they do not have the numbers to fight in the south. So they are complementing it with terrorists they are now recruiting across the Sahel, but most importantly, Al-Shabaab in Somalia. That was why they went to Somalia. Have you had any updates since they went to Somalia? Have they tried to show you anybody they have recruited from Somalia or how they're helping the Somali government? Have they done so? The answer is no, because their motive there is sinister. They went there to go and recruit Al Shabaab terrorists to come to kill all of you, shouting one Nigeria with green, white, green flag. You know, sometimes I think that in Elohim in heaven, people be gathering up me and is maybe trying to hold us back to unleash this thing from the Fulani so that all the Fulefus, all the Fulefus will die in misery and in regret. That was why they went to Somalia to go and recruit Al Shabaab to come to fight for them. And this Al Shabaab, they are the ones who are in Lagos. Planning to attack Lagos. The Tinopo told the police from Nigeria to say it's IPOB. Are you following what I'm saying? Ask your oh my shit, black people. Why 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 did God make me a black person? I don't understand. Why people cannot reason. Let me ask you again. Ever since their police went to Somalia, it is a foreign expeditionary mission. How come there is no update? How many Somalis they have trained? Have you ever... How? Brain of a black man. Have you ever wondered why? You don't hear anything about that. For the very simple reason that they went to recruit terrorists, Al-Shabaab, and they are the ones 
now in and around Lagos, planning to launch multiple attacks in Lagos. And a human being, somebody that claims he has conscience, woke up in the morning and decided to blame IPOB for it. When Tinubu knows that those who are in the bushes and forests in and around Lagos are Ao Shabab, and Somali terrorists all the way from Mogadishu that they brought him. Of course, history will be kind to YPOB. As this our brother have just written, his name is, uh, is Adeba Yorafel. If, if they said to you in this life that your people will rise up to, to write glowingly in defense of IPOB, you will not believe it, but it is here very clear in black and white. Al Shabab is in around Lagos because Fulani knows they don't have the numbers. They cannot win this war. Nigeria has never won any war on its own before in its history. They always rely on people to fight for them. After they fight, they start making math. That's all they do. That is all they do. And to tell that this is a concerted effort to colonize everybody. Ever since they had their so-called security meeting last week and decided to invade the South. Some of you think it's only the East that coming to that coming to the entire South. Have you been hearing about bandits doing this or doing that anymore? They have promised them that all your money is theirs. That is why, Madame Tambowal, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. The attack is coming. You can't escape it because it's too late. They understand that come 2023, should power leave the north, they are finished. So they must attack this. In fact, we are now forcing them to attack one year earlier than they had planned. This attack was meant to commence in 2022, but they are starting in 2021 because of IPOB and Eastern Security Network. May glory and praise be to the Almighty in heaven. Thank you for watching that video. And guys, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in my next video.